Hello, everybody. How are we doing? Good? Great. Welcome to week number two of the CSHL. We're going to be going into two more games today, but before we do that, I'm quickly going to show you the current standings. We've only had two games thus far with the Whales and the Bulldogs picking up wins. And on top of that, I will do a quick recap here of some of the drafts, aka the teams that will be playing today. I'm going to show you guys the teams that they were able to draft from and the players that they selected. So that will be up on the screen. And yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and let's hop in to the third game of this tournament slash league. I still, I, I'm just trying to figure this out as I'm going, guys. So <laughs> I'm probably going to use a lot of words interchangeably. The first of today's two matchups will be the Detroit Dragons versus the Los Angeles Royals. So as we know, the Royals got shafted before this thing even started. They are no longer with the company of Jack Eichel as he has been traded to the Golden Knights. And on top of that, we have the Detroit Dragons who arguably have the best team in this tournament. So I changed the camera angle up here. We are now on true broadcast. The Royals getting a chance in front already. Not able to score though. And honestly, although the overall for the Dragons is good. Yes, they got to pick from Toronto and Tampa. Anything could really happen, so they could possibly be the favorites, but I honestly would say that there's a very decent chance that they don't end up winning it. You never know. It could happen anyway. There's no guarantees, and although they do overall-wise have the best team, we'll have to wait and see what happens. Makar picking it up, walks in the slot. That will be saved by Vasilevsky, puts it in the mitt, and we will have a face-off to the right of Andre. I'm still not too sure why there isn't logos on the scoreboard. Is that just like a thing now? Maybe? Is that how it is? I'm not too sure. You guys can go ahead and let me know, but I haven't seen any. So yeah, that's my current stance on that. I have no idea why it's like that, but maybe they just don't show custom logos anymore. I swear they used to, but maybe they haven't done this for a bit and I just haven't really been paying attention because for the most part, if I create teams, I don't really jump into games like this. You know, I normally just simulate. So yeah, this is Sort of a, a first here with this new tournament slash league idea that I have crafted together. And holy crap, it took a while to set everything up with all the graphics and all the teams creating all the jerseys, getting all the logos to a PNG format that I could use in graphics and stuff. It took me a while, but I'm so far pretty happy with how it's turning out. And let's just continue on with the tournament here. I think that you guys are enjoying it. I mean... Views wise, it's not doing nearly as well as some other videos, but I'm not really too worried about that um, As long as the people that are watching it are having a good time and Yeah, I'm liking it. I, I just kind of want to do this even for myself at this point so I'm gonna definitely continue on with it and Ride this one out to the very end so far both teams have had pretty equal chances, but I think I would give the edge so far to the LA Royals and they have a power play coming up here as well. So that is definitely a good chance for them to get on the board. Taveras and Taves will be out for the kill. Ranton and McKinnon and Landis Cog out for the Royals. Draw is one back to Thomas Shabbat who walks in, rips a shot just wide of the net and the Dragons will get the puck down the ice halfway through this first period now. Penalty is still early on. Granton will lose the puck. Lindholm picks it up. Now Tavares cross the ice and the puck will find its way back down to the Royal Zone. I'm not too sure why the goalies also don't... What was that? All right. It kind of worked out for him though. So good for you, I guess. But yeah, I don't know. I swear I set like goalie helmets. Maybe you can't really do that. Well, I did uh, team colors, so... I guess maybe you have to set helmets separately. The puck is cleared down the ice one final time. That will do it for the power play. Honestly, there wasn't a whole lot generated there from the Royals. So a great PK on behalf of the Dragons, who are now carrying the puck down the ice. Here comes Victor Hedman. We'll get rubbed off the puck on the boards there, but picks it back up. A cross ice pass. We'll find nobody. Kane now in the slot. Gets it to Hedman. Two point. Back to Jones, who's able to walk in and take a shot. But that will be blockered aside. Matthews pinned behind the net now. Got two Royals players fighting for that one. But Matthews seems to have come out with it. But what a battle. Holy crap. 
It's kind of going back and forth right now. What a teeter-totter. Matthews will ultimately emerge with the puck. Finds its way to Kane, who gets a shot off. But that will be saved as well. Now here comes Brady Kachuk down the ice. Goes for a pass in the middle. Jones will break that one up. And start up the ice the other way. Up to Matthews. In over the red line. Steps in. Goes for a little deke. But they absolutely swarmed him. And Grubauer will smother that puck. Love a face-off to the left of him with 337 left in the first. Getzlav passes it in the middle to Strom. Passes it in the middle again to Taves, who goes to take a shot, but will not get it off. And Taves gets another shot in the slot that will not find its way yet again. Donskoy over to Butcher, who passes it back to Donskoy, carrying it up the ice. Two minutes to go. We got the two-minute warning here. Donskoy takes the puck and gets a shot off, but that will be an awful shot, to say the least. Middle stat goes behind the net. It will go all the way around, and Getzlav will meet it at the boards. Passes to Lindholm, who is now coming down for the Detroit Dragons. Stops up, loses it, and that will be passed up to Yanni Gord, who carries it in. Goes for a deke and gets absolutely destroyed. What a hit. All right, that's going to wrap things up for this first period. So far, it's been a very even matchup, I must say. No one has found the back of the net just yet. But will the second period break the ice here? Let's find out. 20 minutes. Well, it's not going to be a real 20 minutes. I'm sure you know that by now. But anyway, yeah. Um, I didn't really get a whole lot of feedback on whether you guys want me to sim the first two periods and then only watch the third or watch the whole game. But um, I kind of got a general consensus that you guys liked the full games being watched. So we're going to continue with that for now. And maybe that'll change up when we get to the playoffs or something like that. A nice toe drag shot from McKinnon, but that will be kicked aside. Shabbat goes behind the net to Rantanen, to McKinnon. McCarr, lots of great passing here from the Royals. McKinnon goes behind the net to Landis Cog now. Passes it out front to Rantanen, who is going to be pinned against the boards there. Kane will come to his teammate's aid, and here come the Dragons back the other way. A one-touch deke in the middle. A couple stick handles gets a nice shot off. Grubauer... Going to deflect it aside. Stamkos in the slot. Goes for a deke. Goes to take a shot right after the deke. But it won't find its way. LA Royals rushing back the other way. Man, this has been a high energy game. Lots of back and forth rushes going on here. Tuck passes it back to Giordano. Who goes cross ice to Kachuk. Walks in. Does not get all of that shot, unfortunately. Vasilevsky will save that one easily. We'll have a face off to the left of Vazzy. In front of the net, and oh, what a save by Vasilevsky. That is huge. Damkos wins the battle, takes a shot. Grubauer going to kick that one aside. Nylander has the puck and will lose it. Now Giordano has it for the Royals. Passes in the middle to Batherson, who goes across to Brown. Brown stopping up at the hash marks. Back in the middle to Batherson. Let's a shot go. That will just miss the net. Now Stamkos has it. Loses it back to LA. Dullin walks in, takes a shot. And another great save by Andre Vasilevsky. He has been playing outstanding so far this game. Riley in. Takes a shot. Grubauer going to put that one in the mitt. And we are just over halfway through this game. Wow, is it a good one. I don't know what is exactly happening right now. Um, is there a fight going on somewhere that I can't see? There's got to be a fight going on somewhere, no? Anyway, Butcher got destroyed. Chuck? Chuck. Yeah, his name's Chuck now, apparently. It's not Chucky, it's just Chuck. Goes to fight him, but Man says no way. Man's not hot. It looks like Butcher is staying on the bench, though, so he should be all right. Oleksiak with the puck, passes it up to Alex Tuck. Goes in the middle to Jimmy Superstar, who gets hit, loses the puck, and now Detroit has it again. Puck goes in deep to the Royal Zone. Oleksiak turns around, gets hit by Getzlav, who carries it back into the slot area. Gives it up to Strom, who takes a shot just wide of the net. Grubauer going to cover that one. 108 left in the second period here. Entering the final minute of play for the second period. Score is still tied at 0-0. No one has been able to find the back of the net just yet. Both goalies have been playing very solidly. And it looks like that is going to wrap it up. What a hit at the end of the period there. These teams are now starting to get aggressive as they are not able to score. And they are clearly fuming. Lots of big hits going both ways. It's getting aggressive, ladies and gentlemen. You'll love to see it. Third period of action underway. Score is still nil-nil. We have yet to see a goal. Who 
will break the ice first, or will we have to wait for overtime? Let's find out. Shabbat going to take his man off the puck and carry it in. Goes for a pass to Landeskog, who tries to take a shot, but will not succeed. Landeskog has it in the slot again, tries to take another shot, and that will go off of Hedman. Rantanen attempting to walk out, does not succeed, and Detroit dumps the puck down. I am not even really sure why they are on the penalty kill right now. Maybe that hit at the end of the period resulted in a call. I'm not too sure, but that is my best guess. Taves will dump the puck down again. 30 seconds to go in the power play here. For the, Every time I see LAR now, it just kind of makes me think of the uh, LA Rams in football. Anyway, what a shot and what a save by Andre Vasilevsky. We have a pass back to the point. McCarr goes down low to McKinnon in the slot to Ranton. And back to McCarr, who lets a shot go. And what a save by Andre Vasilevsky, catching that one in the glove and making it look simple. Victor Hedman gets the puck over the blue line, but will not get much done with it. Ranton in. Carries it in now, goes for a pass back to Makar, who walks in, goes for a pass himself, but not able to make much out of that situation. McKinnon with the puck at the blue line now, gets pinned against the boards. Matthews comes in to help his teammate, and there is a big battle along the boards going on here. Matthews picks it up at the dot, and he will skate into the boards, because why not? He's <laughs> that was kind of funny to watch, actually. He just kind of... Skated forward and then backward and then forward and backward. And just every time he would try to come out, someone would challenge him. And he would turtle back away and turn around. A great opportunity there for the Dragons. But they will not score. Matthews now has it in the slot. But he will have the puck taken away from him. Shabbat with a risky pass there all the way across the ice to Rantanen. Now Stutzla has it. Goes for a pass in the middle back to Rantanen. But that will be interrupted. Kachuk goes for a pass to Shabbat. What a pass. Dalin takes a slap shot, and that is just wide of the net. Shabbat has it again now. Going to lose it. Rantanen picks it up, and Detroit will finally get possession here and get it down the ice. We now have 10 minutes left in this one here. No score yet. Alex Tuck with the puck on the wing. Carries it in. Goes for a shot. Vasilevsky going to make another tremendous save. Riley up to Debrinkat now, and that will be an offside faceoff right in front of the Dragon's bench. Ryan McDonough passes it up to Alex Debrinkat. Goes for a pass in the middle for a slap shot. That is going to hit the post on the rebound. That is the closest opportunity we have seen thus far. We've got Kachuk carrying it down the wing now. Pass in the middle to Dalin, who takes another shot. Vasilevsky going to put that one in the mitten as well. This has been quite the matchup so far. Big draw win for the Royals, but McDonough... Going to get the puck for the Dragons and pass it to Stamkos. Now we got the Brinkat back on the wing there to Riley and gets it right back from him. Up the ice. He goes for a toe drag shot. Grubauer kicking that one aside. Nylander goes to walk out but will be bumped off the puck. Batherson up to Giordano who stops up. Gets it to Dahlin and up to Batherson again. Batherson tries to go behind the net to Gord. Back in front to Batherson, who takes a shot. Vasilevsky making another stellar save here. He is honestly the main reason the Dragons are not down 3 0 right now. A huge hit there on Stamkos. Dalid now gets a hit of his own after he picked up the puck behind the net. Dustin Brown carrying it up the. Oh, wait, no, that's Connor Brown. Never mind. Dustin Brown. I saw LA and I saw Brown. I just immediately thought Dustin, but it was wrong. And he scores. That's what I get. That's what I get. For calling him Dustin Brown. He's like, oh yeah? I'll make sure you know my name. And he goes in and absolutely buries one. What a unit. That was a sick goal. Absolutely tucks it home. It is one to nothing for the LA Royals with three minutes to go in this contest. Lindholm gets the puck off the draw there. Goes to get it in deep. But that will be knocked away. Strom now goes behind to Getzlav. Who passes in front to Taves. Gets knocked off the puck. Now Donskoy with it to Butcher. Carrying it up. And they did not pull their goalie there. So Vazzy is still in the cage. But I'm assuming they are going to be pulling their goalie in the very near future. Final minute of play now. 1-0 for the Royals. And Tavares gets it over the line. Goes for a shot that will be saved by Grubauer. I think they still haven't pulled their goalie. Which is pretty bold to be honest. Butcher has it now. And he will spin back. 
get hit off the puck there by Taves. And now they pull their goalie a pass in front. And what a save by Grubauer. Back to the point it goes. Takes a shot. Grubauer, another tremendous save. 30 seconds to go. And we have a 1-0 lead for the Royals. Very important draw here. Point and Jimmy Superstar. Point will win it back to Jones who goes for a pass. Grubauer going to make an amazing stop on a Matthews one-timer there to keep his team in the lead. 27.4 to go. And Grubauer has been playing just as great as Vasilevsky this game. Both goalies have had outstanding performances. Point wins the draw again. Hedman over to Matthews going for a set play it looks like here. Going to make another save on Matthews. Goes for a pass in front but that won't make it. A shot from the point from Hedman. And we have a blocker save from Grubauer. The Royals get possession of the puck. If they get this out, that might be all she wrote. But Tuck kind of chokes there. The puck does find its way down the ice. And it looks like that's going to do it. Ladies and gentlemen, the LA Royals going to take a dub in their first game here against the Detroit Dragons. And they have an official record of 1-0 in this tournament. So there you have it. What a game. A lot of people would probably consider that an upset. I would say that's just the way she goes. Now here's a look at the updated standings. The Royals now 1-0 up there with Boston and Washington and Detroit now 0-1 with the Tomahawks and the Lumberjacks. All right, so now that we've had a look at the updated standings, we have two teams who have yet to play between the Philadelphia Finns and the Newfoundland Tigers. I will quickly show you which teams Newfie and Finn had to pick from and which players they chose. And on that note, let's go ahead and hop in to the final game here with two teams that have a record of 0-0. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back here at Aces Arena where once again, once again, that's English, where once again the entire tournament is taking place. We have the Philadelphia Finns, the Newfoundland Tigers going head-to-head -head here one team will end up 1-0, the other team will end up 0-1. Which team will be which? We'll find out after this game. Ovechkin has the puck. He will cough it up to Barkov, who carries it down the ice for Newfoundland. Goes to cross in the middle, but that will be turned away. Nice battle along the boards there. Ekblad up to Huberdo, who gets nudged off the puck against the boards. Backstrom now up to Provorov, back to Ovechkin who will lose the puck, and Svechnikov now has it, going to get hit there, and lose it back to the Finns. Ovechkin walking in gets a shot off, but Bobrovsky has that one in the oven mitt. Big draw in there for the Finns. Backstrom has it, back to Carlson, who sends it down low to Panarin. He goes to spin around, but there's a guy right there, and what a hit! Keller has been rocked, and I don't think he's feeling too good, and now we have our first actual fight of the tournament, and it will be between Ovechkin and Aaron Ekblad. The two are absolutely going at it right now. Ekblad connects with a nice uppercut. Two uppercuts now. Three uppercuts. And Ovi goes down. Oh my word. What a scrap. Ovi just received three fists directly to his chin. And he is now sitting for five minutes along with Ekblad. Well, the guy along the glass there. That's pretty funny, actually. Anyway... Yeah, that's our first fight of the tournament. Clayton Keller seems to be all right, though. He's still out on the ice right now. Teammate just wanted to stand up for him and make sure that, you know, next time Ovechkin goes to make a hit like that, he's aware that Ekblad will step up and scrap him. Couturier has it in the slot, loses it to Jacob Slavin, who passes it up the boards to Keller, gets pinned and loses it. Now it's back to Slavin and back to Keller, who goes in the middle to Tarasenko, over to Sebastian Aho. Tries to spin around and get in front of the net. He knocks it off of the fins there. Tarasenko with a great opportunity in front of the net, but not able to capitalize. Sebastian Aho loses it. Finds its way to the front where Provorov will pick it up. Passes in front to Carlson. Spins off his guy. Up the boards to Couturier. And it looks like the fins are going to enter the zone here. Pareko picks it up behind the net. Gets it to Sebastian Aho, who stops up. And gets nudged off the puck, but Pareko will be there to back up his teammate. Slavin carrying it up and passes it. Cross ice to Svechnikov. John Carlson in over the line. Gets hit against the boards, but still makes the pass. And Bobrovsky 
Going to make the glove save on a great one-time opportunity there. Ethan Bear passes it over to Reinhardt, who carries it down the ice into the fin zone. Goes to skate backwards there for a minute and gets nudged off the puck. The Finns go to dump it in deep, but that will be rejected. Now chasing him down, Lindholm goes back across the ice. Lots of great passing going on here from the Finns. Now in over the zone, Hannafin gets basically tackled by three people there. He will lose the puck, but gets it back and gets it up to Mika Zabinijad, who puts the puck behind the Tigers' net. Bear with it, pinned against the boards though. Shen comes in to help out his defender and passes it up to Reinhardt. That somehow found its way on net, but thankfully we have a goaltender who was paying attention and was ready for it. Here comes Mika Zabinijad, goes for a deke, a nice shot there. Bobrovsky going to kick that one aside, and now his team is coming back the other way. Marty, Marty Nietzsche in the slot, goes for a shot in the slot. I'm a poet and I didn't even know it, and it finds its way wide of the net. Zabinijad coming back in, trying to muscle past the defenders, but only able to get by one. Kairou. What a deke, gets by his guy, almost, he does get by two, a pass in the middle, and another great save. Holy, that would have possibly been goal of the tournament so far. What an effort from Kairou. Second period of action, coming up right now, we still have a 0-0 game, just like the previous one. Goaltenders are both playing phenomenal right now. Let's see which team will be the first to get the goal. We got the Finns coming in to Ovechkin, goes for a pass, and that is just wide of the net. And we have a relatively dirty looking hit there, but Panarin seems alright. Loses the puck, and now Barkov has it pinned against the boards though. Battle going on between the teams here, and the Tigers will come out on top. Ovechkin, not having it though. He back checked right away, got his guy, and gets the puck. A great opportunity in front there for Panarin, but Bobrovsky... We'll stop that one and keep this game tied up. Sebastian Aho has some space. He walks in, but Carlson will ultimately take the puck from him. Aho wins it back, goes for a pass in the middle, and a whiff. Swing and a miss, ladies and gentlemen, on that one-timer. That would have been a great place for a one-timer as well. Sebastian Aho with it, gets knocked off the puck, and that will be an offside. Face off right in front of the Tigers bench. Couturier gets it over to Kachuk who skates behind the Newfoundland net, manages to get past one defender, a pass in front. Bobrovsky going to put that one in the mitten, and that will keep this game 0-0 right now. Goaltenders are both playing very well right now. We have a face-off to the right of Bobrovsky. Big face-off here, and it will be won by the Tigers. Tori Krug with it, passes it up to Sam Reinhardt, who stops up. And walks out to Shen, takes a shot that will be saved once again by Igor Shosturkin. The Finns on the attack here. Zabinijad gets the puck in the middle. Not going to get an ideal shot off though. Now Shen has it, spins around, goes across the ice to Phil the Thrill who passes it to Tori Krug. In comes Krug. Passes it in the middle, a one-time attempt there. Fox will get in the way of that and stop it from getting to his netminder. Over halfway through this one now. And we still are all knotted up here at zero. Over the line. Walks in and stops up. Has some time. But Orlov will step up and make the play there to get the puck out. Nietzsche walking back in with it. Up in the middle. He gets it back. Goes for a shot. But Shesterkin going to save that one as well. Marty back to Chitrin, Who goes down low to Kroos. Kraus getting hit here, and Truba will take the puck from him. He's now in over the blue line of the Tigers. A step up from the defenseman there, and a pass in the middle. But Giroux not going to get all of that one, and a huge save from Sergei Bobrovsky. Monahan gets it to Truba. Back to Orlov in the slot to Kuznetsov, who takes a shot. That will be rebounded out to Sean Monahan, who is going to bury it. And he will put the Finns up 1-0 here. What a goal from the Finns. Unfortunate for Bobrovsky, but we do have ourselves a lead now. The Philadelphia Finns pulling ahead by one. Let's see how the Tigers bounce back after that. Five minutes to go in the second period. Backstrom has it in the middle of the ice. Spins back, gets it to Truba. Now to Panarin and gets it up to Ovechkin. Goes to 
find his way into the middle, but will not be successful. Puck is carried in for the offside. Here come the Tigers. A pass, and what a save by Shesterkin on the one-time attempt there. Svechnikov is deadly with those shots. He gets a good one off there, but Shesterkin going to save it. Kirido Barkov and Svechnikov currently out for the Tigers. Goudreau, Couturier, and Kachuk out there for the Finns. A big draw win. Gets it to Ekblad. To Slavin. What a save. Is it going to find its way in the net? No, it will not. Shesterkin leading back. Puts that one in the glove. That was a close call. Let's get a bit of a closer look at this one. The draw win. Passes it across the ice. Down low. In the middle. A great save by Shesterkin. It almost finds its way, but it doesn't quite go. The Finns with a draw in their zone. Wins it back to Provorov, who passes it up to Kachuk. He gets pinned now. Sebastian Aho coming in and loses the puck. Now John Carlson has it, and he carries it out of their zone. Goes for the dump and change here, and Slavin picks it up. Gets it over on the boards, and that will temporarily come out over the blue line. But the Finns are putting on a great forecheck right now. They actually come out with it. Goudreau with the puck in the slot there. Not able to get a shot off, though. Tarasenko now has it. What a pass. A blind pass back. Keller goes for a pass in the middle. And a great rebound attempt there. But the defense are able to control that and be there for their goaltender. He really needed it there as well. All right. It is 1-0 for the Finns after 2. Let's see what happens in period number 3. Will the Tigers be kept off the scoring sheet? We will find out soon. Barkov passes it over to Huberdo. Who stops up, goes to walk in the middle, and will ultimately end up getting the puck back to Ekblad. But that is given away. Now Ovechkin coming in on a one-on-one -on -one here. Kind of stops up. Skates off his guy. Carlson now with a great opportunity. Takes a low shot. Bobrovsky going to save that one and keep this game one to nothing. Oh man, I had to go grab some water. I could tell that my voice was starting to get fuming. I don't know why exactly. Um, you know, it should kind of be used to it by now when I make several videos a week. But apparently... Yeah, it just doesn't want to get... It doesn't want to... I don't know why I just can't speak English sometimes. Anyway, didn't want to get used to it apparently. So, yeah, got some water. Hopefully that helps a little bit. But I can still tell that this whole Adam's Apple region is literally enraged with me at this point in time. So, let's just try to carry on here. See what happens. Panarin with the puck. Gets it up to Aouvi. Walking in over the line. He goes for a weak backhand sauce on net there. Bobrovsky probably slightly offended that he would even think about that. But saved it nonetheless. And he will make another save there on Kachuk. Sveshnikov getting up close and per- Oh my word! Sveshnikov, I would not mess around with him. He looked terrifying. Here comes Clayton Keller. Received a pretty large hit earlier on in this game. And also received a fairly large hit there as well. But he seems alright still. He has the puck again here. Passes in the middle to Sebastian Aho who lets go a sick deke, but it will be offside. Noah Hannafin has the puck, but he will lose it there. Manages to fight for it back, though, and get it to Fox, who passes up to Goudreau, who is pinned right in front of his own bench. Lots of pinning going on here. Some more pinning, because why not? Hannafin gets it. He gets it to Couturier, who's coming in. Let's a shot go, and Bobrovsky going to put that one in the mitten as well to keep his team within one. He is playing great. Both these goalies... Have played great so far. And honestly, all the goalies we've seen today so far have played quite well. Especially, I feel like, in comparison to the first video. Where I felt like they were getting scored on very easily. And speaking of easy goals, Mika Zabinijad going to get a pass down low. And he is going to rip one glove side past Bobrovsky there to give his team the insurance marker. And a 2 nothing game is now in front of us. Zabinijad going to go for another one here. The defense managed to take the puck from him, though. Krug has it behind the net. And it will be won by the Tigers. Pareko has it. Gets it to Kessel. Goes for a pass out and gets hit in the process. Loses it. A nice shot there, but Bobrovsky able to stop it. Just under 10 minutes to go in the third period here. It is 2 to nothing for the Philadelphia Finns. Phil Kessel in over the line. He's doing some... Little twitchy techniques there that seem to have worked. Shen with it in the slot takes a slappy. That will be saved and the puck is now dumped down the ice, which will in fact be an icing because they are not shorthanded. Maybe he just wanted to relieve some of the pressure there, maybe. That's all I can really think of. Bear gets it to Reinhardt. What a save by Igor Zesterkin. Gets the right pad on it 
and able to kick it aside with a very athletic looking save. Bear, over to Reinhardt, who has it in the middle now. Carries it along the side, has three guys chasing him, and he will lose the puck. And here comes Zibanejad. Wins the race. He is now behind the net, passes in front. Bobrovsky going to be there for that one, though. And he'll make another stop to leave this game at 2-0. The Tigers seem to be running out of time here. They need a goal quick. Marty passes it up to Kairou, who finds his way and does a one-touch deke. Loses it, though, and now Giroux has it for the fence. He's in over the line. He also has a star above his head, because why not? Kairou up to Kraus. Slowly coming in here. Tries to get past Orlov, but will not succeed. Orlov passes it to Giroux again. Gives a little toe drag in the middle there and passes it over to Kuznetsov. He tried to walk in. Didn't quite succeed, but does get the puck back. The Tigers pulling the goalie here. Final minute of play. They are down by two. And a huge hit right there from... But was it Tarasenko? Did he just lay the body? What an animal. He also able to walk in there, take a shot. And I don't know why I'm not able to speak English right now. I'm just not too sure. But uh, I don't even have a good excuse this time, honestly. I really don't. So uh, apparently, this is just a natural thing. When I'm making videos, I just don't know how to speak English. So, yeah. You've been warned. Draw win back. Ekblad has it. In the middle to Sebastian Aho. That will be ripped wide of the net from the point there. Passed in the middle again. Aho with another chance. That will be saved by Igor Shesterkin. 37.6 to go. Will we see a shutout? That's right. I'm saying it. I'm saying it, ladies and gentlemen. You could call it a jinx if you want, but we'll see what happens here. Sebastian Aho up against Kachurier. He will win the puck back to the defense. Barkov with it, but Provorov giving him a rough time and... Puck finds its way back to the point. We have Slavin walking in. Passes it back to Aho. Back to Slavin. Another pass over to Clayton Keller. And another great save from Igor Shesterkin. Ten seconds to go. Things are all but over here for the Tigers in their first matchup. But they did have quite the effort, I must say. Um, they just couldn't get past Shesterkin. He made a lot of great saves. And, yeah, had a stellar performance. So... There you go. Every single team has played one game now. I will show you the updated standings right here. So you guys know what's going on. And we will continue these matchups for week number three. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And yeah, leave a like. That'd be sick if you could. Um, and you know, it's just, I don't, I don't know. If you enjoyed, then comment maybe. What else can you even do, really? Yeah, that's it. All right, thanks. Bye.